Okay, today we're going to be making ink from colonial times, the same way that they made it. They would use berry juice, and these are my mulberries that I picked from my tree. So what we're going to do first is we're going to smoosh them with my strainer into my little cup. So I will work on smooshing this, and once I get it all smooshed, we will continue. So just a minute. Here I am, smooshing it up, making some juice. I just keep smashing it up. You want to see how much juice we have right now? Ah, oh, look at that. That's how much juice we make. Gotta keep smashing though. All right, it looks like we are all juiced out now. All of my juice, all my mulberries are all juiced up. So the next thing we're gonna do here is our juice. Looks delicious. We're going to add Oh, this was half a cup of mulberries, in case you were wondering. And this is half a teaspoon of vinegar. We're going to pour that in. And half a teaspoon of salt. We're going to pour that in. And then we are going to take a clean spoon and stir and stir and stir until it's all, clean, all mixed in. And once it's mixed in, we will be able to use it right with and look at this pretty color turns out pretty nice right so uh next thing i'm gonna do is make a pen so that i can write with this and see how pretty it looks on paper see you then bye we're gonna make a quill which we will be using this red feather that i have left over from our egg drop experiment in school so it's got this nice fat point that we're going to cut off and what we do is we cut it with my nice sharp tiny scissors at an angle just like that and then we have to use a pin <clears throat> and clean out any gunk so that there's space for my ink right and it looks like this one's in pretty good shape so then <clears throat> it looks like we cut right on the edge and just make that little tiny slit i don't think that is all we're gonna need to do so let's see what happens when we write all right so here we are with our paper and our ink our special mulberry ink that we made and our special quill that we made we're gonna dip it in here and then let's see if we can write look at that it works and it's this really nice purple which turned out really great you do have to refill them just like in Harry Potter they always had their little whoops that was too much their little cup of water of, of ink so I hope that you had a, a good time this is how they used to write way back when when our country was young so i hope you enjoyed it bye so here's a close-up of this pretty purple color from my mulberry 